guys, Trisha, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, gagawa tayo ng what's in my lo in my lock on my laptop. What's on my laptop? In on. Search natin. So, what's on my laptop? I have here the MacBook Pro. Wait, tignan nga natin yung specs. Hindi ko alam yung specs na ito. So, I have here the MacBook Pro 2017. I got this when I was in second year college ata. So, it's been with me for three to four years already. And so far, gumagana pa naman siya. And pangalan niya is Turkey. I've already had three laptops so far and ito yung pinaka gusto ko kasi super reliable niya. So if you're also thinking of buying a new laptop, I would definitely recommend a MacBook Pro kasi maliban sa ang bilis niya pa rin kahit ilang taon na siya, ang tibay niya rin guys. Natapunan na to ng RC. Pero may cover naman siya dito nung natapunan. Pero kahit na, ba natapunan pa rin siya. So, ayun. Okay pa rin naman siya after three years. Pero yung keys ko dito, kasi dito yung natapunan, yung keys ko dito, medyo na doble na pero it doesn't matter naman kasi keys lang naman yun wala namang naapektuhan sa workflow ko or whatever so anyways without further ado let's get it on with the video so ayan mag start tayo dito sa desktop ko so humakita nyo yung wallpaper ko gusto ko explain kung ba't ganyan yung wallpaper ko kasi dagat na dagat na ako guys so ngayon ECQ ba so gusto gusto ko nang pumunta ng dagat I mean ayoko namang pumunta sa ganyang kalalim na part ng dagat sabi sa akin ng isang office mate ko na study shows na kapag daw yung wallpaper mo sa computer mo is parang nature or something. Nakaka-relax siya ng mata. So, that's why diba yung sa mga windows, kapag bagong bili yung desktop nyo, yung wallpaper niya is nature talaga. Kasi may study na, if you're using the computer too much and you don't have the chance to go outside, at least you can see the nature or the outside world from your wallpaper. So, ayun. Kaya, yun yung isa sa mga rason kung bakit gusto ko wallpaper ko is nature. Pero, minsan, yung wallpaper ko din is mga motivational ko ganon. Depende sa mood eh. So, dito naman sa left side ng... ng... So, dito naman sa left side ng screen ko, I have here yung mga sticky notes lang na I want to be reminded of agad yung mga tinitake note ko. So, I have here my schedule for today. Dapat mag-shoot ako ng what's on my laptop ng 12 o'clock. Pero 3 o'clock na guys kasi late ako nagising. So, hindi na mangyayari to, no? And then, dapat i-upload ko siya by 7pm. So, hopefully, ma-edit ko agad to. And then yun, and then meron akong work-related, and then meron akong reset your life dito na dapat supposed to video din to, pero hindi ko pa nagagawa kasi medyo complicated din siya and all. And then, on the other side of my desk, of my, of my desk, of my screen, meron lang akong tatlong folder dito. Usually, super napupuno tong buong desktop ko ng files, lalo na if I'm non-stop working with my freelance and my full-time job. Sobrang napupuno yan. Pero ngayon, syempre nilinis ko siya kasi hindi nyo pwedeng makita kung ano-ano mga tinatrabaho ko dito na. I just have here my two personalized folder kasi diba usually blue lang siya like this one. Kapag nag-new folder ka, blue lang siya. Pero, ayan, pinersonalize ko siya. I know, pangit yung color scheme. Pero, ang cute cute kasi. These are two of my favorite colors. Pink at saka mint green. So, pinaghalo ko siya. <laughs> so, I just have here in my desktop are two folders. Yung isa is TL. So, TL means Trisha Lopez. Siyempre. And then next is I have here is my YouTube folder na nandun din yung freelance ko. Kasi I'm also editing for another YouTuber si Katie Tracy. So, dito ko nalagay yung mga files niya and yung mga files ko din of course whenever I film videos and then yung mga presets. Ayun. Dito naman sa bottom ng desktop ko. I only have a few icons, few softwares here below. Kasi ayoko masyado marami akong magkita. Kasi ang dami-dami ko nang iniisip. Tapos ang dami-dami ko mga <laughs> So, eto. Meron ako dito yung Finder. Eto, hindi ito matatanggal dito. Kaya, nandiyan na talaga siya forever. And then, yung Launchpad. Eto siya. We'll go through that later on. And then, Premiere Pro is the software that I use for editing my videos and freelance videos then And sa work then Yun din yung ginagamit namin pang edit ang video. And then, I have here my notes. Other than yung stick sticky notes. Ito yung sticky notes. It's called stickies. And then, dito yung notes na mas in-depth. Kapag nag-online course ako or marami akong gustong script na isulat, dito ako sinusulat sa notes rather than sa stickies. Kasi yung stickies gusto ko very minimal lang yung nakalagay and madali lang mabasa. So, sa notes, mas complicated yung mga nandun. And then, for the calendar naman, dito kasi sinishow agad kung anong araw na ngayon. So, today is April 19. Mansari na 
Ay, ayun, yung calendar kasi gusto ko nakikita agad yung schedule ko. So, nilagay ko lang din siya dyan. Yung Viber, hindi ko alam kung bakit nandito to. Hindi ko siya kinikip and dock. Pati yung Telegram, I don't know why it's there. Pero Viber and Telegram, I use it for business and for work purposes. Yun yung two messaging apps na ginagamit ko other than the Facebook Messenger. So, yung maganda sa Viber is encrypted siya. But I don't know how true is that. So, yung encrypted, wah, nag-explain! So, yung encrypted is kayo lang nung kausap mo yung mga habasa. So, it's not possible to hack it. And then, yung mga tao din sa Viber, hindi din nababasa yung mga sinisend nyo. And then, sa Telegram is, I'm not sure lang kung anong special features dito. But, nade-delete din yung mga messages dito. And you can edit it kung nasend mo na siya. So, gusto ko rin yung feature na yon Kasi, ang laking tulong kapag natatypo ganyan. Lalo na if ever professional yung kausap mo. Tapos, may wrong grammar ka or typo ka. Nachi-change siya agad. Pero, nakikita nga lang sa ilalim na edited na siya. Pero okay lang. It's still a big help. Last two that I have here is the download folder and trash folders. So, kapag tinanggal mo yung laman ng trash, mawawala yung basura sa loob. Ang galing! And then, ito downloads folder. Nandito na rin siya forever. But I don't know if pwedeng matanggal. Yeah, I think pwede naman siyang matanggal. Pero I choose to let it stay there. Going on to my productivity and editing apps here in the launch pad. So, ayan. Ang daming apps na nandyan. Yung nasa four rows. Built-in na talaga lahat yan. Nag-start ako dito sa Microsoft Word. So, I downloaded Word and Excel. But I don't use it often. I prefer Google Sheet and Google Docs. Ang maganda sa Google Sheets and Google Docs, na masasave mo siya online. So, you can access it anywhere as long as you have an internet. And then, Figma. Figma. Ang ganda ang magsalita. Ginagamit namin to for collaborative work sa freelance work ko. So, dito, kapag may nag edit na isa, nakikita namin. So, dito namin nilalagay yung mga design concepts, design ideas namin, yung mga thoughts namin na kinocompile namin into one. Collaborative app siya. And if you want to see how I work inside Figma, just comment down below and I can make another video for it. And then next is I have Adobe InDesign. I use this for layouting mostly. Hindi ako masyadong nagde-design dito. Usually, dinedesign ko siya either sa Illustrator or sa Photoshop and then tsaka ko nilalapag dyan. What I like about InDesign is naka-layout na siya into a book so hindi mo na kailangan ilatag na ito yung page 1, ito yung page 2. Automatic na siya na when you put it there, page 1 na 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, meron dun setting na parang pwedeng siya na automatically yung maglalagay ng page number. And then, Illustrator and Photoshop is what I use to design vectors and what I use to edit my thumbnail. So, if meron din kayong mga tutorial na gusto, pwede hindi naman akong gumawa. Kaso, hindi ko alam kung paano ko gagawin yun. Pero, ayun <laughs> kasi mag-explain. But, I have here Premiere Pro. So, as I've said earlier, dito nga ako nag-edit ng videos. And then, itong Adobe After Effects. Hindi ko alam kung bakit meron akong ganitong ano. So, meron din akong Cinema 4D Lite. Pero, whenever I try to open it, nagsasara. So, I think this is a parang a software na pwede kang mag-read 4D nga eh. <laughs> 4D. Hindi ko alam kung ano ibig sabihin nun. 3D lang alam ko. Tsaka 2D. Pero yun, pwede ka rin atang maggawa-gawa ng mga realistic na bagay-bagay dyan. Next is I have here Adobe After Effects and After Effects Render Engine. Hindi ko masyadong yung nagamit tong Render Engine pero hindi ko na siya dinilit kasi baka madilit din yung After Effects pag dinilit ko. So, After Effects, I use it for animations. I'm Doctor 2. Ito, ginagamit namin to sa office kasi since we're working from home right now, syempre kailangan monitored pa rin yung working hours namin. So, whenever I open this software, magka-count na agad yung time na naka-online ako and nare-record yung screen namin. So, yung host neto, I don't know kung sinong host neto, nakikita yung activities namin sa screen. So, ha, wala kang talagang task, girl. On the next page, I have pages. Built-in na rin ata to from Apple or I downloaded it from the App Store. Pero helpful din naman siya. Parang Microsoft Word din siya. Pero mas inline sa design ng MacBook. So, and then Spotify. I have HP Utility and HP Easy Scan. So, ayan yung printer ko. Nakakonect yan dyan. So, whenever I use my printer, na-open ko lang yung dalawang yan. So, yan yung printer ko. Kahit maliit yan, guys, may scanner yan. Kaya I have the HP Easy Scan. And then sa utility, dun mo makikita kung ilan na yung ink levels mo. Pwede mo i-clean up yung printer mo through that. And then next is Keynote. Parang PowerPoint lang din siya, pero mas inline ulit sa design ng Mac. So, yung pages tsaka Keynote, yun, mga Mac, ano yan. 
hindi siya pwedeng i-download I think sa Windows. So, pang Mac lang siya. And then, Bear. Parang notes lang din siya, but it looks like this. Parang pag magagawa ka ng notes, you can type in YouTube, the YouTube video ideas. And then, sa baba niya, maliit na yung text. And then, you can make a checklist na like, um, what's on my laptop. Ayan, yun yung mga checklist mo. And then, what's on my iPhone. Ganyan, parang video ideas. And then, maraming pang pwedeng gawin dito. I think, eh, pwede mong i-bold. Pwede rin i-underline. Ganyan. So, maraming features tong Bear. And I think, meron siyang feature na mas gusto ko kaysa sa notes. Kasi, yung notes, meron siyang checklist na parang ganyan. Sa notes kasi, when you put a checklist na like this one. Checklist. Kapag chinek mo siya, chichek lang siya. Pero pag dito mo siya sa bear ginawa, naka-hyphenate din. Hyphenate ba yun? Nagaganon din yung words. So, hindi siya confusing and mas madali siyang tignan kung nagawa mo na ba yung certain task na yun or not. NTFS for Mac. This is why I hate Seagate hard drive. Kasi kailangan mo tong i-download just to access your Seagate hard drive. Tapos, minsan na-disconnect pa yung Seagate. So, if you're also looking for a good hard drive, I definitely do not recommend Seagate kasi it's not Good. I use Google Chrome kesa sa Safari kasi in my case, kapag in-access mo yung Google Drive, hindi nada-download yung files doon. Pero sa Google Chrome, okay lang. And parang napansin ko, mas mabilis mag-load sa Google Chrome. Kahit anong website na i-access mo, parang mas mabilis sa Google Chrome. And then, Notion, hindi ko masyado nagagamit tong Notion, pero it's also notes, organizational app. Pwede kang mag-take notes, ganyan. Hindi ko pa masyado tong gamay, pero yun, pang-taking notes din siya, ay pang-organize ng stuff. Itong tatlo, Layout, SketchUp, and Style Builder, they all came in one. So, related siya lahat sa SketchUp. And SketchUp is for 3D making, ganyan-ganyan. So, yun. Ang maganda sa SketchUp kasi, pwede ka namang gumawa din kasi ng 3D sa Photoshop and Illustrator. Pero hindi ko kasi alam kung paano siya pagagalawin, yung papaikutin, ganun. So, pwede kang gumawa ng 3D, pero hindi mo siya mapapagalaw. Pero sa SketchUp, gagawa ka ng flat. And then, pag inibom mo yung perspective, iikot siya ng 3D talaga para talaga siyang totoo. And then, lastly, is I have here Zoom. So, yung Zoom is recently lang namin ito nagamit. Ito yung ginagamit namin whenever we have meetings. Pero parang ngayon hindi kasi may kumakalat na rumors na parang na ano na daw siya ng mga hackers. But I don't know. Parang ginagamit pa rin naman namin siya and wala naman nangyayari. So, I'm not sure. So, if you have any news about Zoom, comment down below. So, yeah, that is all that I have in my laptop. All the productivity and software apps. Itong other, yan lang yun naman yan. Hindi ko na ginagalaw to kasi hindi ko din alam kung ano-ano yung mga yan. The only software that I'm familiar with here are ito, Stickies, Chess, Game. Hindi ko masyadong ginagalaw yan. And then, QuickTime Player, Dashboard, saka Screenshot. Pero I don't usually use that. So, that's about it, guys. Sana may mga nakuha kayong apps na pwede nyo ring i-download from this video. Please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye!